West baby. 4th Street, that's, that's part right. Part of the West Village. So you have all kinds of food options. What do people around the West 4th Station like to eat? Well, let's find some NYU students. Right. Let's find some hippies, some weirdos, some basketball players, some, some tattoo freaks. Yeah. Let's find out how the locals do it. Where do we eat at upstairs? This is some frozen yogurt, and it's from a place just upstairs called Grab and Go. It's actually just across the street. I was hoping you were going to say Gray's Papaya. <laughs> or... I don't do the Gray's Papaya, but I do the 99 cent pizza. There's a Thai restaurant called Tu. Thai. A Thai restaurant called Tu. Oh, Tu. How do you how do you uh, spell that? The barbecue place. Barbecue place. Barbecue place. You mess report? Yeah. I like your style, brother. When you eat upstairs, where do you eat? Spoon toast. Big crust pizza. I kind of hate this neighborhood. For oh really? Food, so I'm not. Can you make Wait. one pick? Joe's pizza. Joe's pizza. Joe's pizza. Joe's pizza. Yeah. Okay. There's a I want to give you a hug. No, no, no. There's, there's no one else in the world that understands that remembers Needix. What is the name? Is why wouldn't I call it? Well, it's, it's called Grace Papaya now. Oh, please. Many years ago in New York City, even in the subway system, mm -hmm. Needix operated hot dog stands. You could actually buy a hot dog without even leaving the subway system. And then it came into question what the meat might be. Uh, and I think that's when that's when mankind kind of ruins a good thing. People ask some questions always ruin things. I'm telling Except you. Except for us asking other people where to eat. Pearl Oyster Bar. Fish and lobster and deliciousness. We need to know where to eat right, right now. outside of this station. Because Miss Lily's Joe's is down. Pizza. Joe's, Joe's, pizza. Joe's around the corner. Where is the best place to eat around here, around the West 4th train station? Um, well, there's an Italian place called Spunto. Okay. I would go down to McDougal Street, McDougal. further south of here. Okay. okay. Um, For what? Falafel, probably. Falafel. Mamoon? Yeah, you got it. We've got to choose between four places to eat. Joe's Pizza, Spunto's, Mamoon's, or Pearl Oyster Bar. Where would you eat? Yeah, Mamoon's. I only know Joe's. Joe's? Okay. Yeah. Is it good? Joe's is good? Suffices. Not Joe's Pizza. Not Joe's. Pearl Oyster Bar or Mamoon's? Try the Pearl. Joe's Pizza, Pearl Oyster Bar, Spoonto's or Mamoon's? Can't say nothing? Don't eat at Joe's. Don't eat at Joe's. Joe's. That's like a two, two don't eat at Joe's. Two don't eat at Joe's. I, I, feel like I think we should take Joe's off the list. Let's, let's, let's take Joe's off the list. Listen, yes. Let's say Joe's, Joe's, Joe's gone. we're not fucking thank, with you. Thank you, New York. New Yorkers may not love anything, right? but they hate a lot they of things. They know what they don't like. That's right. Mamoon's? Okay. On McDougal, okay. Pearl Oyster Bar, All right. or Spoonto. All right. Which one? Which one should we do? Anyone? Pearl Oyster. I would go to Spoonto. You go Spoonto. Yeah. Who's going? Uh, it's, it's, us. It's, it's us. It's us. It's us. You're welcome to join us like if you like. like a I'm sticking with Spoonto. 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 Yeah. yeah. What about you? Which one do you like? I don't speak English. Oh, come on. Are you, you speak better English than a lot of New Yorkers, I'm going to tell you. Raph, I feel like we're tied right now between Pearl Oyster Bar and Spoonto's. It's very close. The next vote wins. The next vote wins. This is it. Pearl Oyster Bar or Spoonto? What, what would you suggest? Spoonto. 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 Definitive. Raph, there it goes. There's there the final, goes. There final answer. Spoonto's the winner. God damn it. They're giving him the no. Rap is getting shut down. We've arrived at Spoonto. Yes. Uh, you went inside and talked with uh, the management, and they said uh, we couldn't film inside there. We couldn't film our meal. Well, the owner's not there. They didn't want to give the, they didn't have the authority, they said, to, to permit that. But it just so happens that Spoonto's down the street from Victory Gardens, goat milk ice cream, which we heard a healthy endorsement of earlier tonight. Oh, I know good ice cream. Victory Gardens, it's around the corner on Carmine. Goat milk, soft serve ice cream. I also need a regular that's just salt and caramel. Listen, I mean, all our lives, we waited for this moment, to be an adult. That's right, to be an adult means I can have ice cream for dinner. That's right. I went with the tangy goat milk, mm -hmm. and they have an herbal flavor. Went with the uh, twist of chocolate, rosemary, with mm -hmm. salt and caramel. Raph, I gotta say, man, yeah. goat milk ice cream. This is awesome. It's fantastic. Who knew that goats produce such, produce such a tasty milk? Let me tell you something. You know why this, you know why this is so good? Yeah. Because this goat milk is actually pulled from the goat's udder by other goats who have hands. <laughs> yeah, it's deep. Yeah. That's crazy. It's soft and delicate. Right. Internet, you're riding with me and Raph, the internet celebrities, on the A train. Yeah. And we're eating at West Forth. The next stop is...